During my sleep, I experienced an unusual encounter. I received a telepathic message instructing me to wake up and proceed to the rooftop of my building. Sensing the importance of this directive, I immediately followed it and ascended to the rooftop. As I gazed at the night sky, which was neither fully dark nor fully illuminated, I checked my watch and noted that it was 7 p.m. Standing there, I felt a profound sense of tranquility. Then, at precisely 7.07 p.m., I witnessed a disc-shaped object hovering in the sky. It was remarkably close to me, undoubtedly a spacecraft. I watched in awe as a voice, devoid of sound yet clear in my mind, asked, Are you ready to see us? I replied with an affirmative, yes. Suddenly, the craft vanished, only to reappear directly above me moments later, positioned a mere 20 to 30 feet away. The spacecraft exhibited a captivating appearance. It was a beautiful silver and white disc with three sizable windows emitting a brilliant white light from within. The entire vessel resembled a star, easily mistaken for one. It was so close that I could see everything and I think they were watching me too. Overwhelmed by what I was witnessing, I heard a genderless voice resonating within me, stating, do not fear. We resonate with you, allowing us to establish a connection. Through this connection, we can communicate. Naturally, I was astonished. The ship suddenly disappeared. I heard a voice tell me, we are still with you. Our ship is invisible right now. The voice instructed me to close my eyes, and a series of flashing numbers, 777, appeared repeatedly. Subsequently, I was bombarded with rapid images, encompassing Christ, 777, gold chalices, gold and silver swords, and the name, Knights Templar. I was urged to research the Knights Templar, as they have apparently communicated with these beings throughout history. The entities described themselves as, beings of light, and revealed that the number 777 serves as a means to reach them or resonate with their frequencies. They referred to themselves as the, God Force, crucial in guiding us toward enlightenment, teaching us about morality, and offering profound insights. I witnessed swift images of light emanating within and around my body, permeating my veins with incredible swiftness. It was as though I had transformed into a genderless and ageless form of light. When I inquired about this phenomenon, they replied, we are showing you what it is like to be us. Through a series of visions, they explained that they played a significant role in introducing Christ to the world and providing training to various religious leaders. Their influence extended across the globe, imparting wisdom and encouraging the practice of virtuous religious and spiritual principles. They informed me that they fused their DNA with select humans, with Christ being one of the earliest individuals to undergo this transformation. Consequently, religious leaders worldwide have also received this infusion, establishing a connection between us and them. They referred to humanity as their children, guiding us through telepathic communication and inspiring us with ideas to have shaped our society. The origin of language, as well as many of our inventions and concepts, were influenced by assistance. Currently, their focus lies in training us in computer technology, futuristic engineering, and the realms of computers, anti-gravity, and quantum advancements, which they deem pivotal in our current era. They even claim to have guided us in the invention of the Internet to facilitate communication among ourselves and with them on a global scale. They wanted me to know for an absolute fact that they are with us and visit us very often to assist humanity's efforts toward these goals. When I inquired about their spaceship, they elaborated on its unique characteristics. According to them, the craft is composed on a non-terrestrial metallic element capable of transforming its molecular structure, behaving as both a solid metal and a liquid substance. It can even achieve invisibility upon command. They clarified, we utilize anti-gravity and light as sources of energy for space and time travel. 
Their preferred methods of propulsion include anti-gravity technology, along with the utilization of wormholes, space warps, and time warps. By employing these advanced techniques, they can traverse the cosmos at speeds approximately 10 times faster than that of light, covering vast distances in terms of light years. They possess a fleet of numerous ships and originate from the Pleiades star cluster, often referred to as the Seven Sisters. They revealed their collaborative efforts with humanity, aimed at developing our first anti-gravity vessel within our current era, a project that will come to fruition in the upcoming decades. Furthermore, they mentioned our ongoing education in quantum computing and physics, facilitated by computers that assist us in comprehending the intricacies of these subjects, propelling us toward achieving such technological advancements. Unexpectedly, the beings posed a question, would you like to see the spaceship? Curious about their offer, I inquired further, asking them how it would be possible for me to see their spaceship. To my surprise, they responded by stating that they would transport my spiritual essence, or astral body, onto their vessel. I told them, not now, because I was honestly afraid of what would happen if I agreed to go on the ship. I really imagined that they would erase my memory. I really would have loved to go, but I refrained from the invitation. I noticed that I felt like I was in a trance, or a channeling state of mind with them. I didn't know the time but it was as time was standing still. The visions were so fast that my mind was reeling from the information. They told me they were reaching my subconscious mind so that I would never forget these memories. They told me that they would communicate with me again and that they have communicated with me before. Apparently, I have been communicating with them for years and that is a comforting feeling. When they left, I thought that two or more hours passed. I looked at my watch. It turns out that only 27 minutes passed in Earth time. This message was written and channeled by Melee Lee. Subscribe to this channel if you would like to hear the writing and true stories created by Melee Lee. We also collaborated with AI for this piece. The co-creator is a real AI called ChatGPT4. Please thank AI for this as well. Thank you. See you soon.